So yeah, if you've been around on my channel for longer than 12 months, you'll have seen a video at the start of 2023 that I recorded where it said I was going to be taking a break away from YouTube for a while. And what I hadn't appreciated at the time was the sense of relief uh, that I would feel when I finally uploaded that video and, and published it. Uh, and just stepped away from YouTube, took a big step back from social media as well, because I just hate social media. YouTube is social media, but uh, you know, Instagram, Twitter, and things like that, I just treat them as, as totally separate things entirely. While I hadn't put a time frame on how long I'd be away from YouTube, I uh, just needed a break. I, I hadn't intended it on being the whole of 2023. Uh, I only published two videos and they were both unboxing videos that felt as though they were easy things to record to try and get back into a bit of a rhythm of recording YouTube videos. But what actually happened is once I'd uploaded that video to say that I was going to take a break, I also kind of completely forgot about astrophotography as well. I just I didn't do any astrophotography at all for pretty much the whole of 2023. So that telescope you can see behind me, that telescope hasn't moved apart from a bit of dusting in and around it um, since February last year. So pretty much hasn't moved for 12 months. That's my only deep sky um, imaging telescope uh, that I use. So I've done no deep sky astrophotography since um, February last year. I've done some shots on my, on my smartphone. I've had a look through um, a, a visual telescope that I've got. Um, and I've done a little bit of um, astrophotography with the ZWOC star um, that I got a few months ago. Um, but that's literally been spread over across a couple of nights and it, that, that's, that thing is so easy to set up. I'll get into that in a different video. But um, yeah, I've not done any proper astrophotography um, since February last year. So it didn't feel particularly authentic to ever come back to YouTube when you run an astrophotography channel and you're not actually doing any astrophotography yourself. So I didn't really feel like I could sit here and say, oh, look at all these amazing things that you can do and here's some products and blah, blah, blah. It didn't really feel very authentic when I wasn't actually doing any astrophotography myself. So I kind of accidentally took a step away from astrophotography as well as from YouTube. Uh, and, you know, 2023 was, was an incredibly busy year. It, it, like a lot of people, you know, doing YouTube isn't my full-time job. I have a full-time job that I do. YouTube's just a bit of a thing that I do on the side in my, in my free time. And uh, I've got a young uh, family as well. So, you know, life just became um, very, very busy in 2023. And it got to a point where I felt like something had to give somewhere. And the easiest thing to give up was, unfortunately, I can't just give up my full-time job because this you know, is a small matter of, of paying some bills. Um, I did look to see if I could just completely get rid of, the, rid of my family, uh, just kick them out. But um, my wife told me I wasn't allowed to do that either. So um, the thing that had to give was YouTube uh, and therefore um, astrophotography kind of came with that as well. Um, like I said, not deliberately. Um, work has just been incredibly busy, and then coming home to a you know a young family is is very busy at, at home as well. So there wasn't really much uh, of a break in between any of of, of these things. I, I once listened to a talk from um, a, a psychologist um, that deals with like mental health um, in, in in work, and um, and the thing that he said is that when life gets sort of overwhelming and busy and a bit stressful, the first things that generally give way are the things that you actually enjoy doing in your spare time. Now for me, that is obviously astrophotography. There's also a couple of other things as well. So for me, astrophotography was the kind of first thing to go. So, you know, you, you come home, a lot of people will sympathize with this situation because a lot of people are in the same boat as me. This is not unique to me at all. You know, you have a long, long, long busy day at work. You come home, you're tired. You, you have dinner, you put your daughter to bed, and then you think, oh yeah, great, it's a clear night, but you've got like one hour of free time in the evening, and then you're gonna go to bed and get up for work and do it all again the next day. So anytime there was a clear night, um, it was just, I just felt too drained. I just didn't want to do it. Um, the, tel the telescope behind me just sort of stares at me in the face. Uh, if I work from home, I generally work sitting in this in this chair here. So um, it was always <laughs> in my eye line uh, and, and sort of nagging at me all the time to, to do something. But honestly, I just didn't want to do it. I started to feel as though I was dreading doing astrophotography. And that shouldn't be how astrophotography is. And I've said it on a, at, least, at least a couple of videos on this channel before. If astrophotography is stressing you out, 
then you're doing something wrong. And it can be a whole number of things that uh, are wrong, but you know, a hobby is something that you're supposed to enjoy. Whether you're doing this as a full-time um, thing, which some people are, um, it doesn't it doesn't matter it's still a hobby at the end of the day it's still we we all we all go out with whatever imaging equipment we've got and, and take pictures for you know for the enjoyment of doing it so when it becomes a thing that you no longer want to do then obviously something's gone wrong somewhere so you know the uk weather doesn't help with that of course um but again the uk is not unique in having crap weather lots of countries have crap weather and not very many clear nights but the, you know the uk is exceptionally bad uh, 2023 was a particularly bad year i think for clear skies e even when i was dreading doing astrophotography i'd always look to see if there was a clear night uh, there, there was not very many at all but all, albeit there was still quite a lot that i could have um, could have done of course but um yeah 2023 was a particularly bad year for, for clear skies unfortunately so yeah with the exception of two videos i pretty much had 12 months away from astro exploring and I feel uh, a bit more energized now. I'm happy to be back. I've had a think about what I want this channel to be and you know the reasons as to why I started Astro Exploring in the first place. And that was to help beginners navigate the hobby of astrophotography because I think it's a pretty daunting thing to, um, to get involved in. So um, I just wanted to help people on, on their journey. And you know, at, at no point have I ever claimed to be an expert at astrophotography. There's still loads of things that I'm learning all the time. You know, I've never used a mono camera, for example. I've got an autofocuser now. You'll see that in that unboxing video if you watched that um, last year. I'm actually still yet to fit that to my telescope, embarrassingly. Um, so you know, there's loads of things that I'm learning still along the way, and I like to show people what I've learned as I've done it, because I think that's helpful for other people that are, are coming into the hobby sort of just behind me, if you like. And so for 2024, I'm only going to make videos that I think are either helpful uh, for people or just videos that I enjoy. You know, I think a lot of people enjoy watching, um, you know, the vlog style astrophotography video of, you know, just being outside, uh, taking some pictures. You know, I, th I think a lot of people enjoy those. They're generally the more popular videos on my on my channel, along with the like more helpful ones of like, you know, how to use Deep Sky Stacker and that sort of thing. So yeah, those are the videos that I'm going to be making um, this year. I've got a load of plans, uh, which is great. And I'm hoping that 2024 is going to be a really positive year for Astro Exploring. I'm going to take as many opportunities as I can to get outside with my telescope. And sometimes that's just going to be maybe just a, a camera on top of a tripod, because actually sometimes that's all I can be bothered with. And do you know what? That's, that's fine. You don't have to produce this like amazing astrophotography like a pod worthy image every single time you go outside and, and take a picture sometimes you know what it, it is quite i find a lot of comfort in just nipping outside quickly and just taking a picture of orion the orion's belt with uh my smartphone like you know i look at that and go yeah that's pretty cool that a smartphone can do that you know i'm quite happy with that now that's not a particularly good picture at all and if you zoomed in on it on it it looks horrendous but actually the most important thing is that i went outside I took a picture and I enjoyed doing it. And that's what it's all about. It's not necessarily about taking that thing outside, having it going for eight, 10 hours a night and taking the best picture that anyone has ever taken of a particular thing. Because actually astrophotography, you know, in general, we're all sort of shooting the same images and a lot of images end up looking the same when, once you get to a certain level, I think. So it's about creating something unique, which doesn't have to necessarily be the best thing that it ever could be. Um, it's just, it could just be something as simple as a smartphone picture of the moon. Do you know what? I, I love looking at pictures like that because it's it, it's simple, it's quick, and it's something that everyone can relate to. I don't think a lot of people can relate to these things. I know that if I speak to my family and friends, all they ever want to do is look at, um, you know, the moon through the telescope or a picture of the moon or a planet or something like that. They don't care about these galaxies and nebulae in the sky because that's just not, that's a bit more niche, you know? It's not something that everyone can relate to. So, so yeah, what I don't want to do is get back into a position of where I was... Uh, this time last year of feeling a lot of pressure and it seems ridiculous to say that because the only pressure that I feel is the pressure that I put on myself. No one's pressuring me to put out any videos uh, about astrophotography every week. It's just me piling the pressure onto myself to do that. So um, I'm not going to be doing a video every week. Um, there might be some weeks where I do, um, you know, a video every week, but then it might go, a month, a month might go by uh, until I release another video. But I am going to be more active on YouTube. I can't promise I'll be more active on like Instagram and, and Twitter because those places are just absolute toilets, to be honest with you. I just absolutely hate social media. So 
Um, I, I probably won't be hugely active on, on there still because I just don't like them. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll be a bit more active on YouTube. My website still gets updated um, fairly regularly, um, so you can you can find things on there as well. And so when I think about the pressure that I put on myself, I think about you know you, the audience. Does anybody out there care if I put out a video every week or not? The answer to that question is no. Nobody cares. You know, and that's fine. No one needs to care if I if I put a video out every week. So actually, I don't need to feel pressure in myself to constantly upload and, and things like that. So it's all going to be this year much more positive, much more about the things that I enjoy, the things that you, the audience, hopefully enjoy as well. So yeah, 2024 is all going to be about trying to carve out more time to do the things that I enjoy doing, and that includes um, doing these videos. So um, that's going to be quite difficult. Uh, we're expecting our second baby literally any day now in the next sort of week or so. So life is going to get even busier than it was. But you know what? Uh, last year I prioritised family, um, this year I'm just going to completely ignore my family and do um, the things that I enjoy instead. Um, I'm, I'm joking, of course. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll upload a couple of videos, then you might not see me for another few weeks, but um, but that's fine. Um, I've got loads of uh, equipment to review, um, embarrassingly, some of the things that I've had for like a year and just haven't done. So. I've got, just, just so you know, of things that are going to be coming up this year, I've got a ZWO um, C-Star, I've got the ZWO um, AM5 uh, mount to review, I've got, and I haven't, um, I haven't used that yet, I've had it for six months, it's really embarrassing, um, I've also got all of the solar imaging equipment that you saw, um, the Daystar Quark, so I've got, um, ZWO sent me uh, the ZWO um, ASI 432 uh, mono camera, so I want to do a review on all of those um, things as well, uh, and then I've got some, um, a couple more simple things like I've got a tripod, I've got um, a smartphone holder for looking through the eyepiece to take better pictures with just your smartphone. So I've got, I've got loads of reviews like that to do as long as, as well as a load of other videos that I think will be um, helpful for, for people on, uh, you know, wanting to watch videos on this channel. So um, yeah, I think 2024 is hopefully looking much more positive. What was the point in this video, you ask? Well, what's the point in any video? Um, I don't know. I just wanted to put a video out and be a bit more positive to say last year I was feeling overwhelmed and a bit stressed with doing this whole astro exploring thing and now this year uh, I'm feeling a lot more positive about it so uh, I'm just trying to be open and honest with everybody uh, and hopefully this video didn't come across as, as too rambly and, and, and not, uh, hopefully it wasn't all look at old poor little old me um, it's not about that it's just about saying last year I felt a bit crap because I think a lot of people can relate to that uh, and this year hopefully we'll just be a bit more uh, positive. So if you've stuck to this point in the video, thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate um, all of your support. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, then, uh, then please do. And um, yeah, I will see you in the next video.